Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another foundation review for oily skin. I keep doing these because you guys keep requesting them and the foundation that we're going to try today is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour oil free foundation. So as always, I'm going to show you guys applying this foundation, how it applies, how it looks when it's first applied. I'm then going to wear it for, I'm actually gonna wear this for more than 12 hours just so we can really see exactly how it performs on oily skin. Wear it all day, I will check in and then I'll also give you a final look look at the skin after the wear time um, to show you how it performs. So if you're interested in purchasing or trying this foundation and you're wanting to see if it will suit oily skin, then please keep on watching. Now I'm just reading on the Tarte website what this foundation is all about. Um, it says it's it actually contains Amazonian clay as an ingredient and this will apparently give um, a better, longer, truer wear. It's got vitamin A and vitamin E. It says it is full coverage and it will fade the appearance of pores, discolorations and other imperfections. Vegan and oil free. Yeah. All right, cool. So this is what the packaging looks like. You get 50 ml of product in this one. It is a little squeezy tube. It's actually got like a wooden cap on it. Um, yeah, so 50 mil, it has a SPF of 15, so we might find that this will actually flash back and it might not be appropriate for nighttime wear. And I have the color medium sand for this one. Now I've already primed my skin, so I'm just going to go straight in and apply it. And I might actually shake it first because it's probably been sitting around for a while. What is interesting about this one is that it has quite a mousse-like texture to it. Um, sort of very moussey when you squeeze it out. So we'll see how much, that's only one tiny little squeeze, we'll see how far this goes on my skin. Um, I'm just going to dot it around my face. Oh, I think this is going to be quite full coverage. I did use this foundation once years ago and I remember I used it really, really quickly. Um, and I honestly haven't touched it since, so it's going to be interesting to see what it is like again. Especially I reckon over time your preferences change in products. Like you might hate a product, try it again years later and fall in love with it. So that little dot of foundation is going a lot further than I thought it would. All right, we've pretty much used all of that up now. I'm going to use a flat kabuki brush to buff this into the skin. And I'm just gonna stipple it because it does have that mousse texture. Um, yeah, we, we'll just see, we'll just see what happens, won't we? Well, she's full coverage and the color's not too bad for my skin either. Blends out very easily. Um, I think it's a silicon based foundation because it does feel, it has got that sort of slippery, uh, slidey kind of feel on the skin as I'm applying it. All right, I'm pretty happy with how that has applied. It has kind of dried down, maybe a little on the areas where I applied it first. Um, kind of has a bit of a powdery finish to be honest. My pores look fantastic. It definitely um, blurs, you know, imperfections and enlarged pores. But let's zoom in and give you a close up. All right, so here is my skin close up. I think it looks really nice. I wouldn't actually call this full coverage. I'd call this medium coverage, but I'm actually really happy with how it's looking on my skin. So I don't want to go in with another layer just yet. Um, it does look quite natural. It has blurred all my imperfections, but you can still see a little bit of color, you know, like my dark under eye areas. And there's a bit of redness on the side of my nose. And there's a little bit of redness sort of around my, um, chin and stuff where I have a couple of post Christmas zits. Hello, Christmas cake. I enjoyed you. <laughs> Looks really nice. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is what my skin looks like after the foundation has been, um, you know, set. And I've got a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes as well. I am actually really happy with this foundation now. My pores look teeny tiny. You can hardly see them. Um, it hasn't creased or caked anywhere. It looks quite smooth around my nose. The coverage is good. Um... There's not any really obvious texture difference between my face and my neck. I hate it when, you know, you look at someone's face and you can tell kind of where their foundation ends and when their natural skin starts. Like, it all looks very, very natural. So, um, we'll zoom in again. So, here it is close up. It looks so good, you guys. Really, really good. Um, yeah. I'm really happy so far. So now what we're going to do is wear it for the next 12 hours and we'll see how it holds up. So I will talk to you guys in about six hours at about the halfway mark and then later on, like later, 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 later on tonight um, when I'm ready to take my makeup off. So I'll talk to you then. Bye. All right, so we are at the six hour mark now for this foundation. It looks really, really good. I actually did not 
ever expect this to wear that well and I'm kind of kicking myself for not reviewing it for you guys earlier. Um, there's definitely been some separation around my nostrils. As you can see that in there, like it has separated. Um, I wouldn't say that it looks cakey. There's no, oh, there's a little bit of settling um, just around my mouth in my smile lines there. None of it has worn off. It definitely hasn't oxidized. The color looks really, really nice. And I did take some flash photos and there was no flashback with the SPF as well. It looks really, really nice. And as far as oil control goes, you really cannot complain about that. Even my nose isn't that shiny. Let me zoom you in. If you have a close look at my skin and my nose there, it kind of just looks like it's got a bit of a satin finish. It's definitely not oily at all. And let me tell you, it is 33 degrees Celsius outside. It is a really hot day. I've been sitting under these hot, stuffy lights for the last ooh, four hours. And this is what my skin is looking like. That is amazing. I'll just show you that cakiness around my nose. Who's in there? It's like separated and sort of you know, worked its way into that crease. But yeah, my T-zone is not oily at all. My nose is not oily at all. Other than that, it looks really good. So let's see how it holds up for the next six hours. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, so we are officially 14 hours in with this foundation. <laughs> Look at my face. I feel like such an idiot. I'm not gonna lie. I have had this foundation sitting in my drawer back here for... Mm, it's got to be more than 18 months. It seriously has to be more than 18 months. Um, I get the feeling that I thought that I tried it and maybe I didn't try it and then I left it in the drawer. Because if I had tested this foundation earlier, this would have been one of the good ones. Oh, uh, I'm so, you guys are just going to have to give me a minute here. I'm like staring at my face. I'm such an idiot. Gosh, Nikia, you have got problems, girl. My face is looking perfect. I seriously would not touch this up at all. Even my T-zone is not greasy. It hasn't separated. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look faded. It hasn't oxidized. It doesn't look shiny anywhere. It looks really healthy and radiant, and my pores look smoothed out. You guys. I'm still needing a moment right now. I freaking love this stuff. I'm gonna wear this. I'm going bike riding around the city tomorrow. I'm gonna wear this all day tomorrow again and see if the result is any different, you know, with sweating and things like that. But <laughs> pass the test, guys. Tart Amazonian clay. Mint. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Let me zoom you guys in so we can get up real close and personal. This is what my skin looks like. And if you ask me, it looks freaking good. It just looks like natural and radiant. I'm shook. I am seriously shook. So apologies to all of you in the comments who have been like, Nikia, I love Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. And I was like, eh, don't really love it. Something went seriously wrong there somewhere. Somewhere something's gone wrong because this stuff is bomb. Absolutely adore this. So yeah, definitely this gets two thumbs up from me. My skin looks so good. I am I was going to wipe my makeup off, but I feel like I can't now. I feel like I really can't. <laughs> so I hope you guys really found this review helpful. I'm still shook. I can't deal. <laughs> and please let me know in the comments what foundation or, you know, any other kind of product that you want to see reviewed. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.